Welcome back. Well, I am in the critter room and I am going to start taking everything down and then I will clear up all the tables and um, set it back up again. Okay, so I've got a bunch of different bags. I've got my freezer bags. Uh, I've got regular sandwich bags and little snack bags. So uh, I'm gonna be putting the little pieces in there. I'm gonna try to keep them together by set. Here's a quick, very quick look uh, at how it looks right now, which is a big mess. And this is gonna be a real um, bear to organize as well. And I've got a bunch of sets in there. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about how it's gonna look uh, when it's all done. Okay, I'll get going. All right, so let me kind of show you my process here. So I started moving some sets down there. I put the vehicles down there. And I got some Tupperwares here and started kind of just with the accessories that were in bags and then what I could just kind of see in front of me. So a system is emerging. And I've got a Tupperware here of like general accessories, um, like blankets and pillow type stuff food accessories um, that I don't necessarily want to keep with the set that it came from, that I'm okay mixing together. Uh, and then um, kitchen and cooking accessories that I may or may not keep mixed together. I've also started putting like the bags into the sets where they belong. Like here are the toy items. Here's um, bakery and cake shop items. And then I'll uh, organize those a little bit better. I started kind of putting garden items in one place. Um, and then as far as the critters go, I've been taking an inventory, making sure they're all there. So what I'm going to do next is take apart um, these guys, these walkways. Um, pick all these down. I've already gathered up all the trees. I'm missing one, <laughs> so I'll find it. Um, these this stuff here and then I'll keep on going and I'm gonna put all the big sets on the floor at least like you know these types of sets with their general items in them and then I'll get bags in there of the rest of the accessories and then kind of go from there like for example with the pizza set I put the big pizza items in there and there's the new Reem Reem pizza shop ah that we just got the new very used um, and then like the little pizza stuff that I'm finding I'm putting here and then I've got a big bag of pizza stuff so there's lots of pizza stuff and I really am trying to keep things like where they belong but very soon this will all get better organized and actually while I'm at it I think I'm going to stick the carts down here. So I started putting anything like food cart related um, or like small shop, like there's the uh, soft serve ice cream, um, along with all the camping stuff down here. So I'm just going to move this these carts to make a little room. And uh, I've got the bags down here for the little cart accessories. And then as I come across them, I'm throwing them in there. Um, and I'm getting a lot of these sets completed over here. So yeah, making some pro progress. I got those buildings lined up. Um, next I'll get these buildings off and put them underneath the tables and uh, finish organizing these critters. All right, well, all of the critters are accounted for. So what I'm gonna do is move these into some better bins because they're kind of crowded in here and I'm really worried about stacking them. So here I've got a couple bags of the chocolate bunnies. These are our oldest chocolate bunnies. These are my newer chocolate bunnies that are in slightly better condition. And we've got the anniversary bunnies, which I still need to put the triplets in there. The, the itty bitty triplets, so we'll do that. And we've got pandas. And we've 
We've got Sea Breeze, Rabbit Family, and what are these called? These are one of my favorites. I, I, I say they're all, I say everything is my favorite. I love all the Sylvania families. And we've got the um, Tuxedo Cat, is that they're called? And I threw in this little um, one from the blind bag just because it matched the family. And we've got the doctor and nurse figures, two of the older ones, which came with an older hospital we got. This came with the nurse's set. He came with the dentist. I had to put his face mask in there with him. And he came with the country clinic and it's missing his pants. And I do have his jacket, but for the life of me, you cannot find those pants. And he is a doctor. Now, he didn't come with his jacket um, because we bought him secondhand. And then these are the bears that we have. It's not a family, but she came with the donut shop. She came with the school lunch. And then these three bears, I think, are from, like, the uh, baby band blind bags. Uh, this one came in her own set. I honestly don't remember where those bears came from. I could figure it out if I did a set inventory. And then we have some Persian cats. These came with a deluxe celebration home gift set. These are, this is our Labrador family. Now, it came with this, the older sister and brother. This little one came with the, um, uh, the New Lakeside Lodge. And then this one... It might be from one of the blind bags. Um, I can't remember where that little guy came from either. We've got a couple bags of hedgehogs. We have the hedgehog family right there. Which I could do a better job getting those separated. And then we've got the pizza man and then the hedgehog twins. And then here are the koalas. Border Collies. These were a gift from my husband. It's a fun surprise. This is a family of six. It's got two little baby twins that come included. This was, I think it was a limited edition uh, set, a family uh, with the 35th anniversary. And then the baby ducklings. Also a gift. I was not going to get these because they just came out this year. They won the contest for the re-release and they were really expensive. And they, at that time they weren't even available um, on Amazon or anywhere. Uh, but then my husband just got them for me. And there he is. I don't know if you heard me or not. This has got his headphones on. And there is the Persian cat mother. And then I put the town series figures all in a bag. And so once I get these figures um, put away in this in these bigger um, like bins, I'm gonna stop for the night and we'll pick it up tomorrow night. All right, well I've made a lot of progress. I've got all the critters uh, in one place, including critters that came in sets. Um, if they came in small sets, I kept them with their accessories. If they came from larger sets or buildings, I uh, just put them in here without their set. And I tried to organize them, all, them by, uh, you know, animal type. Of course, the families are all together, but the critters that came separately or in sets are generally grouped um, with like critters. Got the town ones grouped together. Um, and then some of the little ones are the baby sets, the triplets, and the ducklings in here. So there you have it. I feel like we made a lot of progress uh, just on that front. I got a lot of the sets off the table. And I pretty much gathered all the gardening stuff together. Um, I, uh, doesn't look like it, but I did kind of <laughs> arrange that furniture a little bit better and um, starting to come together. 
and I made a lot of progress on these accessories. I was able to put back some of these bags because I completed the sets. Um, so getting there. All right. Well, thanks for taking a look and I'll be back to finish this up.